welcome to another episode of Quality Time with Clive. This is another Crystal Synth tutorial and we're going to be looking at how to use some of the preset arrangements to create new patches. So you could fiddle around with the knobs, you could use your knowledge of synthesizers and craft your own sounds, but on a lazy day perhaps you want Crystal to do the work for you. Let's begin. I have right here just a very simple square wave selected, but it doesn't really matter what your original patch is for this next trick I'm going to show you. Just go over here where this little triangle is, we open up this window, and we see that one of the options available to us is randomize program. Because Crystal is going to be randomizing the program, from my experience I found out that perhaps one to two randomized programs per 20 attempts is going to give you something that you can actually work with. But it's fun to just see what it's going to spit out. So let's go ahead and try something here. That was crazy. Crazy! All right, we could also save that. Um, I'm using Crystal as a VST, so I need to make sure that I save this as a program, and I would give it a name. Crazy Sliding Bells. Obviously, my music making is probably better than my naming of patches, but anyway. Let's try another one. Randomize Program. That one is actually fairly normal sounding. I like that one. Let's call that one, again, save it as a program. I'm going to call that one Underwater Trash Cans. Two words, trash cans. There we go. Lovely. All right, let's talk about breeding patches. With breeding patches, what you do is you take two different patches that you have in your bank of sounds over here, and it then produces a child from, let's say, the mother and father idea. That's how Crystal is organized. You see the father patch, the mother patch, and then how much of a mutation are you actually looking at? So, all right, let's try something like Fool House. Good, and let's see. How about Fatness? Good. So let's try Fool House and fatness. And let's breed the two together. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So that's a really easy way to create new sounds and just experiment with some of the ideas with Crystal. There is one more thing I wanted to show you. So in order to use Program Morph, I need to use a source and target that are not being used by any other portion of the synthesizer. Under Targets, I'm going to go to Other and select Program Morph. And then over here, you could use an LFO but I think the fun thing to do would be, as the user guide suggests, is to put it on the mod wheel so that you have physical control over the morphing and you can move back and forth and fine tune what you want. So let's go ahead and try that. The source of the control will be the mod wheel. So now when I play, I'm moving the mod wheel.
Let's try another one. Mod wheel. Program morph. Crazy. Hey, have fun with Crystal. See you next time. So long, farewell, auf Wiedersehen, adieu.